Hi, my inspired friends. It's just Jen, and I'm here alone in my office without my horses to just chat a little bit about what I've been doing the last couple months. And part of it is recuperation, and the other part is while I'm recuperating, what can I do to be inspired to keep on moving forward with things. And so a lot of you know, I've been dealing with summer sores with Journey. And so Joe and I have been creating uh, magic in our kitchen. And I'm so thankful for my husband, Joe, cause he's the one who goes, you need to write down the recipe. The recipe is very important. How many ounces, how many cups, how many, what are the products that you're going to use? And me, I'm, this is how I cook and this is how I garden is, I like to just take a little bit of this and a little bit of that, combine it, does it work? Well, yes, and it does, it works really nice. So I wanna introduce, this isn't a final product, but, and, and it's not a final, anything but this is inspired black magic there's my logo this is what it looks like inside so what it is it's a combination of, of black magic is what it is of a lot of different formulations from different companies that have tried to heal summer sores here in Florida. And I bet you there's summer sores other parts of the South too. And so because of that, I have a whole cupboards full of ingredients that I have put together and I have gone, does this work? Does this, what are the healing properties of each? And what's the cost involved with each? And do I want to go this way or that way? And so, of course, the word all natural is, I don't know, people just go, it's not what it says it is anymore. So, um, and you'll have to excuse, this is Florida hair and I need to wash it. So you get me at my glory. I just did put some lipstick on cause you know, it might help. There's so many things that might help doing a video when you're old. So I don't know if the lipstick helps, but it makes me feel better, especially when I need to wash my hair and it's frizzy and it's Florida heat and humidity even in September. So I digress back. So my cupboards are full of what I call healing ingredients from dry to emollients to wet. And so there's combinations. If you look, there's, I don't know how many products for bug bites and summer sores and allergies and dermatitis and um, scratches and uh, rain rot. There's lots of products on the market. And so what I didn't wanna do is to take their product and remake it. Why? Because they've already made it. And so um, I started researching and so I could barely uh, use my phone without my right arm or my computer. I couldn't even sit at my computer table like I am right now when I first broke my arm. So, uh, I, when I really could start researching, I started looking in what dry ingredients are healing. What are in healing products that are dry ingredients? What emollients are considered the most healing? So you can go from, you know, something that we all know that's in baby diaper ointment to very exotic blends. And so what I looked at on each, and I asked people the question, what is the most important to you? And is cost important is, you know, what is? If it's too costly, would you buy it? Even though the ingredients are fantastic. Or is that 
you know, I, I, I'm not going to buy that. It's too expensive. And that's all debatable because they're all within the same um, product cost, manufacturer's cost, and the stores get to decide. So again, um, when I'm looking at it, my whole thing is what's going to heal the problem. And then I move out from there. So I have all sorts of things that I have tested on Journey. And it, luckily, the products that I'm doing right now have really kept at bay this horrible thing called summer sores, which I had last year. And it was actually, um, I, I had meltdowns over it because even vet formulas weren't working. And so um, this summer I've kept up with it. My barn owner has kept up with it. Um, she loves the product. In fact, she has shared it with people. And so again, I don't know if I'll ever market it, but I just wanted you to see that um, Joe made a, a, a wonderful label for me. And um, these are the test uh, packaging that I send out to people to try. And then I wait for feedback. What do you think? And so I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. I've learned that just making the, the very first one doesn't work. I needed to add other things. And the research going into that was very, very extensive. Um, when you're a one person thing, you know, show, and um, I've never done this before. I don't like to cook. I don't like to bake. Yeah, I don't create, I, well, that's not true because I'll take a little bit of this and a little bit of that and I'll make a casserole. That's what I do. So instead of that, I really wanted to research and I looked at, and I'm very grateful and thankful to all the people who have, have had horses who have suffered with this because so many people have gotten back to me and they go, we need help and I hear you because even the vet formulas are very, very strong and caustic and do we want that on our hands? I mean, Journey was a mess last year. So I wear gloves just to keep the product off my hands, but it's all safe. It's all any, you can, I, I wear it on my own hands, except it discolors them. Yeah. Anyway, so as you can see, this is the color. Yeah, that makes a beautiful hand cream, by the way. So no. No, it doesn't. I'm not going to sell it that way. Anyway, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. How do you create something from nothing when you have a need? And it's so much easier for me. I had bought all these products last year, spent hundreds, maybe close to $500 on vet bills for my horse. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, over summer sores, which I didn't understand, by the way, and some people, and I'll go into a description of that later, but it could be rain rot, it could be scratches, it could be, you know, um, bug bites that have gotten infected. This actually helps with all of it, and which is quite amazing. And um, down here in Florida with the heat and humidity, it, you know, the horses can and do suffer from these ailments, ailments, all of them. Now, Rio is a little redhead and he doesn't have this problem. He'll get a bite, you know, from a bug, but he doesn't attack it with his mouth. Journey does. Journey is very drama king. He is a drama king. If he feels an itch, he goes with his big, huge teeth, Nakota teeth, and goes after it. And he goes, I got it. And then he makes a sore. And so I have to treat that. I have to keep the itchies away. So I've also formulating a dry product also, which um, I, I do put on him to help because the horses down here sweat. It's 90 degrees plus humidity. So think about that. Think about you know, how many times people have to bathe their horses down here all the time. I can't. Um, I live 
far away so I try to do it about three or four times a week but you know it took a long time with my broken arm to even hold a hose and think about even you know washing journey and it's not his favorite anyway he goes yeah I didn't sign up for this it's not on the board I don't like it you would think he would love it I know so um, that's what's going on with me. I'm also going to be doing a webinar with Shannon on um, everything that causes itchy horses and causes summer sores and other things related. So I'll keep you up to date with that. That should be really fun. Please come and join us because I know some of you have horses that have these problems. The horses are on all sorts of medications and allergy shots and homeopath <coughs> excuse me, homeopathics. And so, excuse me again. I don't know what it is when I sit here, I have to sneeze and cough and all the other things. Anyway, so um, that's in, in my future. And I also want to start doing video recordings of trainings. So if you're interested, raise your hand. Please share this. Let's build this community. Let's build it so that others can feel supported. And it can, we can talk about anything. In fact, if you wanna talk about iguanas down in Southern Florida, I'll do that. I watch iguana hunters. Uh, yeah, but that's another story because, you know, I had to sit for three months in my healing couch and there's only so much to watch. I couldn't even hold a book. Anyway, so I did want to share with you Minnesota made. I got this hat. Isn't this cool? And it's breeze, easy breezy. And it's got a sun filter. I'm not going to, so here it is. I'm not going to wear it right now just got this because I sweat a lot and so thank you thank you thank you um, I also bought a t-shirt to go to go with it so I look really cool because you know I am Minnesota born and raised and um, yeah I'm a Floridian right now so um, I love that that's Minnesota made in Stillwater Minnesota and I just want to encourage you to support small businesses. Um, Minnesota Made uh, is the owner is my one of my daughter's friends. And please, if you're in Stillwater, go check her little store. Well, it's not a little store, excuse me. Her store out. She designs and creates her products for her store and also brings in, I believe, Minnesota made products. So check her out. And other than that, blessings to you. Um, I'm excited for the future. I'm excited to wash my mop of hair. You know, there's a lot of it. I do, and woohoo, but if I go see the horses, I'm just not gonna do it till later. So, love you all, blessings to you. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. I know some of you are not YouTuber people. Why aren't you? There's so many cool things on YouTube. So like, subscribe, and share if you can. I don't know, I just got a message from YouTube. Oh yeah, they send it out monthly. Please, you need to remind your peeps to do that. So here I am. Love you all.